meet you. Yeah, you too. Will you introduce yourself, please? So, my name is Nathaniel. I'm from London, England. And this is my wife. Uh, her name is Younghee. She's, uh, she's from Korea, but she's lived in the UK for about 10 years. Um, how long have you been married? So, we got married in March 2010, so about five and a half years. Five and a half years. Did you get married in UK or in Korea? In, in Korea. In yes, Korea. So. Okay, so you had a wedding ceremony in Korea. Yeah. But you've been living in London. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when we were engaged, young he went back to Korea uh -huh. for almost like a year. So for almost about a year. So I brought my family over while we had the ceremony. And then she came back to the UK um, to join us. Okay. How did you guys meet? We met in my church. So Young Hee was a student at the time studying English. And she had heard of my church from back in Korea. And so she came to visit to see what it was like. And we, we met there and then, yeah, we just started talking and stuff. Was it a love at first sight? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> was it love at first sight? Um, yeah, I, I think it was one-sided at that point. I, I don't know. I, I liked her as soon as I met her. Uh -huh. but, you know, when you meet, so I just asking the basic questions. And uh -huh. I knew she was older than me. Uh -huh. she, she, uh, he asked me how old I was even. Yeah. This is very rude in Western country. <laughs> yeah, so there was a gap and I just thought nothing would come of it. But yeah, we clicked at that time. Oh, uh, so she's older than you. She's older, yeah. Uh huh. Seven years. Okay. So when you heard when you heard her age, yeah. how did you feel? Like you you felt like oh no, you know she's not gonna like me, or is it more like you know like oh you know I can't really I can't really date older women. Like what what was no, you know? Well, no, I'm open to dating older. <laughs> uh huh. I just my heart kind of sunk. I knew that you know, the gap. It's not just like one or two years, it's seven years, so I uh -huh. just thought there's no chance. You know, okay. I was quite young, how old was I? So, yeah, it's early 20s at that time. Okay. Yeah. And how did you start liking each other and how did you know that you guys liked each other? How did you, yeah, start? Yeah, so, <laughs> I guess because we kept seeing each other in church, uh -huh. Um, so like after the service, I would go to talk to her. She would come to talk to me. Uh -huh. um, yeah, then we exchanged numbers and stuff when we got a bit closer, just friendly talking. Uh -huh. And yeah, we just hit it off. We 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 liked yeah we liked things about each other. So, okay. Yeah. And actually, I had a quite hard time during the time, uh -huh. and he was quite good company with me. So it was quite comforting. So you being a good man <laughs> to her. <laughs> so so when was your first kiss? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> was it on your first date? No, 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 no. Because we I'm quite conservative, so uh -huh. it was a long time. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So when was your first date then? Like official date? Uh, do you know what? That's that's going back. Uh, it's going back almost a decade. It's hard to <laughs> pinpoint now. So you guys, yeah, you guys, um, looking at some old man yeah, yeah, <laughs> and old woman yeah. here. <laughs> so no, we, a decade ago. Oh, I can't yeah, remember. <laughs> I think because I was just graduated, I uh -huh. was working in a department store. Uh huh. So she came. Because her school was on the same, very central. Yeah. For those of you in the UK, it's on Oxford Street, John yeah, Lewis. Famous. So yeah, she came. We had lunch, and we've done that a few times. Yeah, those were. Now I remember those were our first dates. I think. Yeah. Okay, and kiss. You don't remember? Was that after you got engaged, <laughs> um, or after you got even married? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I think we. Yeah, yeah. After we one year later, after we started a relationship. Yeah. One year after you started relationship. Well, no. after we uh, met. 
Oh, after you met. Then, okay. okay. And then there's some time after. Probably. Yeah, some time after you started your relationship. Yeah. So after you ask her to be your girlfriend, yeah. and then you kiss her. Yeah. <laughs> some time after. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Um. So let me get this straight. So um, you guys met first. What year? Two thousand and what year did we meet? Uh, two thousand and two, two thousand and three. No, come on. <laughs> 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 so we met two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I was way off. Have relationship two thousand eight. Okay, you started and having a relationship two thousand eight. And then. And then when did you? Me. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Engaged, proposed uh, to you. Like November two thousand eight. November 2008. Yeah, quite quickly. Quite quickly. Okay. Yeah. So you guys dated only for what? Uh, uh, nine months. Nine months. But actually, before me, he was saying to me, just have relationship because we are Christian. Uh -huh. Before re uh, relationship, it's not just get meeting. Uh -huh. We have to consider to get married. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so I have I had in mind. I'm not just meeting. Yeah. You okay. have to think we gonna be married. Oh, so. so even before you guys started relationship, you know, you kind of told her like, if you want to be my girlfriend, yeah. then you yeah. have to think that you're gonna become my wife. Yeah, you, as have well. to, <laughs> you have to even think about this. <laughs> this thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, how was your family's reaction when you heard about your relationship? Yeah. When they heard about your relationship? So. My family were okay. I mean, my family is multicultural. My sister-in-law, two of my sister-in-laws are white. Another of long-term, my brother's long-term girlfriend, she's Jamaican like us. So there's blacks, there's whites. There's even a Chinese girlfriend now in the family. So they were, my family were fine. And, and my family, my mom was quite acceptable. But, um, Oh, your mom was okay. Yeah, my mom was actually. Yeah, oh, was okay. okay. Uh -huh. But she, um, I think she been very waiting for me to get married. And when I talked to her, I was very nervous. But I think she was fine. Um, okay. Uh -huh. But my sisters, uh, they were saying, because when I went to holiday to Korea, I showed his photo. And they were saying, oh, he's dark. Oh, he's, he's, he's dark. Dark. Oh, he's dark. Dark, <laughs> uh -huh. dark person. And then say, oh, he's good looking and blah blah yeah. Well, because that's my choice and I thought it was all the ages and they did not... Um, they were refuse. desperate. They wasn't, they were no. refused, but um, well, a little bit negative talk. But that was it. Well, they really uh, welcomed him and my uh, nephew and niece, they, they loved him. Mm -hmm. It was quite smooth to marry Okay, wow. You guys lucky. So what is it like to be, you know, a um, couple <coughs> from different countries, different cultures? Uh, what is it like? What, between each other? Uh -huh. so First, firstly, yeah, between you guys. So, yeah, we found, we found also, I mean, obviously it's really, really good to, the two cultures to unite. So, yeah, we get, yeah, nice food, nice um, entertainment. Uh, yeah, so that that's good. Uh, but yeah, we have communication issues sometimes, or different emotions. Yeah, so, yeah. different cultures. So we need lots of conversation. Yeah. So in the beginning, it was quite some point difficult, mm -hmm. but as time goes by, we. Um, That's great. What about um, people in UK? I know you know usually there are people there. You know they don't really care about you know other people that much. Do they stare at you, or is that is it common to be Blazing couple? Uh, London, multicultural city. Uh huh. Everyone's from the whole world, so they don't really consider we are different. 
actually, the, we don't get much dirty looks or stuff from strangers. Mm -hmm. But I found, I mean, it doesn't bother me at all, even when I'm in Korea or in the UK, I don't really care about racism. But I found some people were asking some awkward questions to young me. So, like, um, when we meet, in, like, Korean people, for example. But when you see Asian people, is the Asian people like, Koreans obviously they like to talk in their language yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and then they, they ask those kind of probing questions so when did your what did your parents think or did they accept it or yeah because it's yeah. not that common I yeah. guess uh -huh. uh, but, but other than that no other than that no no attacks or anything no, no what about when you guys in Korea do people stare at you have you had any weird all the time, experience? Yeah, all the time they're staring. Uh -huh. some, but it's all different reactions. Some people are very smiling, some people are very happy. And so I don't want to like sound negative, <coughs> but I'm just telling you everything that happened. Mm -hmm. Someone asked once, and I couldn't understand because it was in Korean, um, why don't you go and wipe your face, the coal off your face, when we were, we were just going on a ship at that time. So I was smiling, I didn't know what he said, I just what thought he was being polite. Heck? And uh, so young he told me that exactly what he said. <coughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't really care. He, yeah. Was he, was he old though, or? Yeah, uh, quite old man. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, <coughs> yeah. Old men can <coughs> say whatever, I guess. Actually, um, but old people, I, I have feeling quite um, staring us. Well, but young people, or middle aged people, they quite feel welcome us. Mm. Especially all the ages ladies, they quite uh, welcome our baby too. Yeah. So now you guys have a baby. <laughs> yeah. So she's she's the same age as the soul me. Okay. So uh, yeah. <coughs> and um, do people you know um like your baby <laughs> here in Korea? <laughs> I was actually really surprised. I was uh -huh. quite worried because she's dark, and so I thought, you know, she's gonna get nasty looks, so they're gonna look at Young He like um, a, a loose woman, maybe. What what she doing with this black man? And they've even <laughs> got a child. But people were smiling. Yeah, they were giving nice surprised. comments. Yeah. Someone took a selfie with her yesterday. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's been it's been positive. Yeah. And you're only visiting Korea right now for some time, right? Like, yeah. Um, how long? Just uh, one week left to go. I came last week. Just oh. two weeks there. Okay. Yeah, young he will be there much longer. <laughs> Anything that you want to share with um, my viewers about relationship? I would say for those Asian people, don't be scared to go out and you know, if you like black women or black men, then or even any other race, Indian, you know, white. I would say just go for it. Well, actually, because only uh, Asian, East Asian people uh, care about this kind of race, racism. Or, well, actually, all the whole of country people, they've got racism, but they don't really much care about. Uh, it's not a serious issue. Yeah, yeah, only Korea. If we go abroad, it's not much becoming issue. But yeah, for those viewers thinking about it or interested yeah you you'll love it you'll have loads of benefits like they say mixing two cultures your families will benefit and you'll have beautiful children so yeah no go go for it yeah. do you want to show your baby oh, she's been she's just been having biscuits <laughs> let me uh, let me bring her and um 
do you guys speak your own language to her, or what language do you speak to her? Uh, actually, uh, because at the moment, uh, uh, my environment there's not many uh, hardly any Korean people. Mm -hmm. uh, so she, um, my daughter's name is Debra. Debra we didn't have any chance to meet Korean people. Mm -hmm. So I only speak to her in Korean, mm -hmm. to learn Korean. Mm -hmm. And he, he can't speak much Korean, so he speaks to her English and, and his family speaking to her English. She's made a mess, but she's uh, Deborah. She's still adorable. <laughs> she's sweet as <laughs> um, cream cracker. Sweet. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. So, what's your plan? Um, still, um, you just gonna keep living in London, UK, or? We, we have spoke you thought about, about yeah, uh? We spoke about living in Korea. Uh huh. I love Korea. Yeah, Youngie <laughs> loves it. I like it here as well, but realistically, my job prospects. Like, I've got a professional job back home. My prospects here are quite low, so maybe one day in the future, if I can work in IT here, then you never know. Yeah, I would be up for it, but not at the moment. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um. Yuri wants to come in the video. Yuri, Yuri, maybe you can. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut it out that part. Um, um, you guys thinking about having another beautiful Blasian kid? <laughs> yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah. But the trauma is too, it's enough for one. It's too much work to do. Yeah, I wanted to make family. I come from. I'm one of six, so yeah, I want more. Yeah, he really want to have big family. <laughs> Maybe another boy. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people kept saying that, you know, before the Somi was born, but then now, you know, she's a girl. And people were like, okay, then going for the third one, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to have a boy. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Most of the girls I've seen, or the Blasian babies, have been girls on your channel. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know what that is. But, yeah, maybe. Uh, Maybe we'll have a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know when you have that yeah, yeah wonderful news. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But thank you for being a part of the interview. Thanks. And thank yeah. you for your yeah, sharing your love story with us. Okay. Yeah, sorry it was a bit my memory's gone a bit, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not old. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. <laughs>